This may be familiar to you. All too often you want the best for the person you care for, but time and time again the interaction just doesn't seem successful, leaving you feeling less connected to the person and potentially sad, frustrated, and hopeless. The Dementia Connection model brings together three known pillars in dementia care into one framework. The theory of retrogenesis, the act of habilitation, and using sensory stimulation to create sensory-based information for the person with dementia. The first pillar of the Dementia Connection model is the theory of retrogenesis, created by Dr. Barry Reisberg. This theory says a person with Alzheimer's disease loses brain functions in the reverse order that they learn them. Therefore, all their skills will go in reverse from adulthood to infancy, like how they walk, talk, take care of themselves, cope with stress, etc. Consequently, their chronological age will eventually not match their developmental age. Dr. Reisberg found that those with more advanced Alzheimer's disease may be in a state where their developmental age is anywhere between seven years old to four weeks old. So, although you may be taking care of someone with dementia who is 80 years old, they may have the skill abilities of a young child. However, his theory does not support treating the elderly like children, although the acceptance of the person's current skill abilities is crucial to understanding what they can and cannot do and to lower the expectations that the caregiver may have of the person with dementia. This allows you, as the caregiver, to be fully present, not blocked by thoughts that lead to sadness, frustrations, and hopelessness. The second pillar of the Dementia Connection model is the act of habilitation. Simply put, it is important to consistently reinforce the skills the person still has. There are two known skills a person with dementia has as the disease progresses. One, because we know their skills are reversing toward a younger state, they will navigate their new world similarly to how infants then children navigate theirs, using their senses to take in sensory-based information. Young ones will use their senses to learn meaning, and then when things are called, from the use of auditory, visual, olfactory, gustatory, and tactile stimuli. Two, they can still feel a full range of emotions. Although they may not be able to express those feelings through words, they try to communicate them through behavioral expressions, similar to how children communicate before they know and understand words to describe their feelings. To put these together, stimuli from the outside either directly or indirectly influences the limbic system of the brain, which houses our mood and memory. So stimuli can influence our emotions and our memories. When we reinforce our emotional and memory skills in a positive way over and over again, those skills will stick around for much longer. Also, specifically the person with dementia will start to associate those positive feelings with you who is providing the positive stimulation, creating a deeper connection. Therefore, the third pillar of the Dementia Connection model is using positive sensory stimulation to create this sensory-based information for the person with dementia to take in that will influence their emotional and memory skills. So your approach should be using various sensory techniques that are positive and preferred by the person, like playing their favorite music for auditory stimulation, using essential oils that have therapeutic benefits for olfactory stimulation, offering their favorite foods for gustatory stimulation, reminiscing with pictures for visual stimulation, and painting for tactile stimulation. You can influence the person with dementia to feel happy, safe, secure, and calm, and also to be more focused and attentive. How great is that? The key to using the Dementia Connection model is the three R's, routine, remind, reward. Essentially, consistently use sensory stimulation cues and it will boost the mood and memory of the person with dementia, and they will feel more connected to you. Also, a bonus, when you feel you've mastered this, then it will also boost your mood too, and you will feel connected again to that person.